think I've done it. I've got a beam spring key switch in a Cherry MX size. And watch the force curve. Very, I'm going to go very slowly. See that? It's like 59, 64. And it really is a beam spring, like it pulls away. Once you hit that inverted point, it really just pulls away. <clears throat> and I've also got a clicky. Hear that? And the way the click mechanism works is there's a, a little bar on the bar. And as it goes up and down, it presses against the sidewall here of the switch body. And it makes that sound. But if you don't print the bar, print with that little bar, it makes it still makes a little bit of a clicking sound, but it's not really nearly as much. It's pretty pretty much quieter. And of course, if you want it to be super duper ultra quiet, you can always just use a uh, TPU spring. But to do this uh, requires a much larger bend and much more space. But it's there if you want it. And for reference, this beam spring in there, what finally did it. I did, oh man, I printed so many prototypes. I've thrown away dozens and dozens of them. You can see them all different widths and lengths and also thickness, thicknesses. Most of these are 0.2 millimeters. Um, there was, I did a few that were 0.4, but they were way too hard. And a 0.3, but, and then I did a 0.1. 0.1 was just too, too skinny um, and also unreliable to print such a small first layer height. This one is 0.15 millimeters. And all these over here are 0.15 millimeters. So, I, you, you know, you can see that they were printed repeatedly. And the key is, I think, the 13 millimeter spring. Well, there's a lot of parameters that I got to get right. Um, make, we'll make par more parametric because right now they're hard-coded values. But there's a value, this little cutout in the side of the switch is at a certain height from the bottom. And it has to do with the actuation distance and the bend of the spring. And I haven't got the, the math right for that, um, but I'll, I'll get there, I'll get there. And for reference, the plan with that little thing there, that's just what holds the um, stem to the beam spring that's inside there, that little square. The plan here, I've got two options. They actually make uh, little magnets that are that exact shape. They're squares with a four millimeter hole in the middle. So I think that one's a three millimeter hole. I forget what the size is currently. Of course, it's parametric. But I was thinking that, you know, I could do a Hall effect sensor and just put one of those little magnets on there. Or alternatively, I can print this little cover in TPU so it, just so it's got a little bit of softness and then just put a piece of copper tape on there and then have the two wires underneath oh, so that when it presses down on, on top of it, it makes, basically bridges the two wires and forms a circuit. And I made another one. This one's got a 0.2 millimeter spring with the 13 millimeter uh, spring width. It's much more, it's much stronger. But the key difference here, and that's super important, is that I colored this one in. And it's also not on the floor. But the clicking, oh man, it sounds fantastic. It's, it's a beautiful click. And I also invested in a whole bunch of different keys. Thank you, Glorious Keyboards. And I've been playing around with a bunch of them, and if you listen, not that one, it sounds very similar to one of these, ah, the white, I think that's a kale white, be hard to tell, no, nope, that's Gardaron, no, it's ca kale, spelled this way, yeah, kale. How the hell you say that? Sounds pretty much identical to that. So it is kind of loud, but you, like I said, there's many ways to dampen it. And if you just print um, the cover in TPU, that'll dampen it quite a lot, quite a lot too. Let me get the one that fell. <coughs> it's better. It's, a, it's actually a louder clicky. Oh, so it's so satisfying to, to click it too. It's yeah, it feels similar, very similar to that, but. This one is actually much more resistive. 
So I push forward and then to continue, I actually keep, have to keep pushing harder. It gets harder as you push down. This is a proper beam spring. So the, you know, once you reach that inversion point in the spring, it's actually less force. So it should have this really awesome force curve. It's going to be great. And now I got to make a whole keyboard of these and really truly give it a try. But that's that's the latest and greatest, man. Oh, very excited to clean up the script and post it because this is just fantastic.